We have just launched the Healing Network. It's all healing all the time. This new 24-hour network is your place for live healing prayer and anointed messages, as well as the classic and timeless sermons of Oral Roberts. And we have new original programs coming soon. Available online or on demand, just look for The Healing Network on your favorite app. For more information, go to richardroberts.org slash The Healing Network. God wants you to have a better life. I believe as we choose, we can have a better life. The better life that God wants you to have is paid with miracles. This is The Place for Miracles. Hi everybody, welcome to The Place for Miracles. And the new Healing Network is available now. And all information, go to richardroberts.org slash The Healing Network. It's available now, seven days a week, 24 hours a day on Roku, on Fire TV, on the web, uh, Apple TV, any mobile device, uh, your desktop, your laptop, it's available. I'm doing a live program, by the way, on Thursdays, every week on Thursdays at noon Eastern time, 11 a.m. here in the Central Time Zone, a live interactive healing program right live on the network. Uh, Lindsay's been working with me on a new class on the on methods of healing. By the way, she has a message. This, this was an idea that Lindsay has had for years. I'll have her share about that in a minute. Uh, she's had this on her heart for years, a, a live 24 hour a day healing network. So go to richardroberts.org slash the healing network. Now you can, you can go to the healing network app, the app store, and you can download the healing network app. I should have mentioned that last week. I didn't do that, but you, you can go get the app, get the healing network app from the net, from the, uh, what is store? The, 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 uh, the app store. <laughs> I'll get it in a minute. Uh, you can do that I I at any time and get the new healing network. Uh, Rebecca in Ghana in West Africa, where I preached many times and had uh, pastor's meetings there, said, thank you so much. I was having thyroid issues, a huge goiter on my neck, Graves disease, but thank God for your prayers. It began to shrink. My neck is back to normal. Goiter is no more, and I'm giving honor and glory to God. It is a miracle. If you've been having neck problems or goiter problems or any type of a thyroid issue or anything like that, Graves disease, in the name of Jesus, I set my faith with you for healing right now. And I believe God for it to go, just like it left Rebecca in Ghana. William in Smithfield, Pennsylvania says, thank God for your prayers. I went back to the neurosurgeon after you prayed. He told me he cannot find, listen to this, I cannot find, the doctor says, any sign of brain tumor at all, it is gone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anyone with a, with a tumor, a mass, a growth, or anything like that, in the authority of the name of Jesus, I come against it and I say, Satan, you loose your grip. And I send the word to you right now. I rebuke every tumor, every mass, every growth, every cancer, come out in Jesus' mighty name. And I expect a miracle. Let me know what your, prayer, what your prayer need is. Call the prayer group at 918-495-7777 or go online, uh, richardroberts.org. And if you have a healing testimony, you know, I get so many. I couldn't even begin to, to, to share all these that have come in. If you have one, let me know. Send it to me. You, you could even do a, a, a video on your phone and send it to me. Let me know what God is doing. And let me share with people the good news of the gospel of how Jesus is touching your life through his healing, uh, delivering power prayer. All right, so much on this program. By the way, we're still getting uh, photographs. I've got this, another huge basket. They keep bringing to me in baskets. I'm praying over everyone. We're, we're holding the rope in prayer uh, for people who have family members with needs. Now it may be spiritual, it may be physical, it may be financial, maybe in some other area of their lives, but we want to hold the rope in prayer with them. And it comes from the story in the book of Acts where men held the rope for the apostle Paul to get into a basket and to go over the wall and escape into the night. They didn't know how great a man they had on the end of that rope. 
They didn't know that young Saul would become the Apostle Paul. They didn't know, they just held that rope in prayer for him. Once he was against them and now he was for them. They didn't know who he was, they just knew he was not against them any longer. And they held the rope and they wouldn't let go. And that's what we wanna do with you. We wanna hold the rope in faith, in prayer for anyone in your family, maybe someone who doesn't know the Lord and needs the Lord in their lives, or uh, maybe, uh, maybe they have sickness or disease or some other problem, financial problem, mental torment, whatever it is. Let us hold the rope with you in prayer. Send the photograph and make sure it's one that I don't have to return so I can put it up here and post it. Send it to me, Richard Roberts, at P.O. Box 2187, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74102. Or if you're going to send it digitally, send it to prayer at richardroberts.org. Lindsay, do you have a message? Are you ready? Lindsay's about ready to bring, to bring the message to you. Jordan is coming to sing, and I pray she is a blessing to you. stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you Okay, Lindsay, two things now before you start. Okay. okay. Two things. Uh, number one, uh, when you send your photograph, be sure and let me know that you'd like to have a copy of my little book, How to Hold the Rope in Prayer for Your Loved Ones. 
these people say, well, I don't know how to pray for my brother, for my sister. How, how do I pray for my nephew, my cousin? Mm -hmm. How do I pray for my grandchild? Let me give you Bible methods to pray for that loved one. And I pray and believe it'll be a blessing. It, it's free. Just contact me uh, by the Abundant Life Prayer Group at 918-495-7777 or through our ministry here and I'll send it to you just as quickly as possible. Now, the second thing is, Lindsay, uh, I want to thank you publicly. I, I did this, I did it before, I've done it privately, but I want to do it again publicly. This healing network, which we've now launched, was your idea. Mm -hmm. And you've had it for years. You and your friend, many, many our years. friend Kate, Kate McVeigh, McVeigh have talked it's about true. this. All healing all the time. The mm -hmm. Healing Network, which is available true. now. You can go to richardroberts.org, the Healing Network, slash the Healing Network, or you can go to the App Store and download the Healing Network app and you can get it 24 hours a day, seven days a week on whatever device you use. And it was your idea. Mm -hmm. It was a God idea. Thank I'm you. doing a live program on it now mm -hmm. uh, at uh, noon on Thursdays, mm -hmm. 11 a.m. Central Time, That's right. a 30 minute healing program. You're getting ready to do a program called Bookmark on it. That's right. It's uh, live. Well, no, it's not live. It's it's not live. Oh man, I just about <laughs> fell off the chair. It's okay. I'm good. I've recovered. But should've it's seen, the idea. Jordan Jordan's, almost Jordan's jumped off of her chair right there. He should, the, the her face just like wipe that out. <laughs> Whoopsie. No, it's uh, it's about review book reviews on on even books in the Bible or, or about healing. About healing. Anything that has to do with healing. And the book we start with, of course, is Discover Your True Worth, the book that I just wrote. And um, and and in addition to that, we're talking about not specific wordy, wordy chapters, although that's in a lot of books, but the concept of a subject matter, like um, like oppression or like betrayal, or you know, how does the Bible address fear or something like that? We're using books, and we're using books of the Bible, obviously, and we call it bookmark. So my friend Melissa Lee and I are doing it. In fact, that was actually her idea. And that's coming and real soon. Now. That's coming up pretty soon yeah. too. Yeah, uh, that will debut on the new Very Healing soon. Network. The Healing Network. It's go just go to richardroberts.org slash the Healing Network. Or go to the App Store yep, and, and download the, the Healing, Healing Network, Network app. And it's available on Roku, Fire TV, Web, uh, the Fire Web, Stick, uh, Fire um, Stick, Apple TV, mm -hmm. any mobile device, your laptop, your desktop. It's available wherever you get anything like that on your devices, right. your smartphone. So, but I want to thank you again. I, I'm not Buy aware. Buy a new pair of shoes. Uh, huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you need a new pair of shoes. Lindsay, <laughs> Lindsay, by the way, Lindsay's shoe size is whatever's on sale. That's correct. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely the, correct. <laughs> uh, I'm not aware of any any place else where there is a 24 hour day healing network, all healing all the time, it's all about healing. I'm, maybe there is one out there, but I've never heard of it. So this is something new, it's fresh, it's from the Lord and it's for you. So check into it. Lindsay, I, I see you have notes here. You got, you got your I, I've got your my daily, notes, your daily my notebook, diary, notebook, my notebook daily, here. yes. Uh, and I'm gonna show you why. The You're Lord showed phone. me something. I'm on uh, my phone, I'm gonna show you why. It okay. was at two something. This morning, it was well. You want to explain to me why so, you are awake at 2.30 in the morning? Truthfully, I couldn't sleep and I turned on a movie. Oh. <laughs> so I went over in the other room, turned I on a movie. I shouldn't have asked. Um, and the Lord gave me this. He said that uh, this, I just, I, I, uh, I typed it night. in. And the Lord said, I gave my people enough power. They're just underutilizing it. And I just suddenly turned everything off. Mm -hmm. And I began to write, I began to think. The Lord said, I gave my people enough power. They're just underutilizing it. So I grabbed a sheet of paper that I had and I began to think about something, which is why I have my calendar, my notebook here, because I think it's important to see something. The first thing the Lord said, this is a new book about, this one is a book coming out and it's uh, about prophetic words that I've had. And in the process of it, I was editing it the other night and I spilled coffee all over it. And, uh, and when I did, new. true. And when I did, this is the only paper I could grab. And this is what the Lord gave me scriptural wise to back. I gave my people enough power. They're just not utilizing it. First Timothy six twelve. we are to engage in a fight. Now that's scriptural. First Timothy 6, 12, fight the, the good, good fight, fight of your faith. faith. So we are to be engaged. Fight the good fight is an action now, word. It's not a fight against people though. No, absolutely. Listen, if I fought people, some I might win, some I might lose, and some might be a draw somewhere. Who knows? That's not what God said. 
He said, if you want to fight spiritual battles, fight the good fight of your faith, 2 Timothy 6, 12. So I was okay. And then this one I want you to hold in. Ephesians 6, two different parts of Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6 and 11 says the tricks and strategies of the devil. And he said, put on the armor of God that you may be able to withstand and fight the good fight of your faith. It says this, that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics. One or strategies. One translation says tricks mm -hmm. and strategies of the devil. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing he said is don't forget your armor. The weapons of our warfare, Ephesians 6, are not carnal. They're not fleshly. They're not in your head. But they are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. And we're to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bring into captivity every thought. And that's in Second Corinthians. And then he said, put on the whole armor of God. So we're to fight a spiritual warfare. We're to, to fight not our flesh and blood, but powers and principalities and rulers of darkness. We're to put on the whole armor of God. We're to cast down imaginations. But then he went on and he said this, Ephesians 6, 11, the tricks and strategies to come against, put on the armor to come against the tricks and strategies of the devil. Now I want to show you something. This particular note, this is my calendar notebook. This is the one I go through all the time. If, if you see me, you can almost guarantee this thing's with me. Remember that old song, I love, I love, I love my little calendar girl. Yeah, well, <laughs> mine is I love my little calendar, period. And so this one says, put this on your calendar. In fact, I'll put it to you just like this where you can even see it. April, and it goes on all the dates, and then it goes on into May, and then it's Thursday, May, and then it's May 16, and it's all these. There it is. Put this on your calendar. So I not only put it on my calendar, I put it on my calendar, printed it, and kept it right there so I wouldn't miss it to have a backup. And I want to show you why. This particular one is part of the days I was writing in there. So I'll show you. Th this is my, that's how I write for a day. You notice that? It's like Monday, May 15th, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all of these. Okay, this one is back in March. Of course, we've passed this, but I want to show you something. Look at how I've done it. I put it in there with a sticker, and, a, and I wrote it, and then I highlighted it, and then I wrote comments about it, and then on the page next to it, I wrote all that mess. Why? Because I want to make certain I have a plan. Richard, you know me. I've been this way all the, all the days that I can remember. We have a joke in our house. If you want to buy, buy mom a treat, buy her a notebook or a sticky tab that's little boxes that you can check off the boxes. And there's a reason. There's a reason why Lindsay's this way. She was trained this way. Her daddy was a Marine. This is true. In World War II and Marines plan. Yeah. They're strategic, but they're planning. And that's the way you were raised. Lindsay has always been a planner, and that's why you have planners. It, I've been raised that way as long as I can remember as a child. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5, the weapons of our warfare are not in the flesh, but they are mighty. Why? To pull down strongholds. What's a stronghold? A stronghold is the tricks and strategies of the devil. Or whatever's coming against and you. And what's coming against you. And God said, I've given my people enough power. They're, under They're underutilizing it. I just want to flip through. I just want, I want to show you. Just let's, let's pick another. I'm just going to randomly put, because this is in the future. Okay, let me see if I can find one that's somewhere down the road that I haven't spilled that much coffee on. Okay, let's let's just, oh gosh, let's find one that you can see through. I'm not sure where I put it, hold on. The idea, the premise of my, here's one. Um, the idea of my notebook is very simple. It's very simple, even from the future, when I'm looking at things to strategize, to prepare ahead for things that are coming. Now, if I missed an appointment, let's go back. Here's January. That's my January. If I missed an appointment in January, I'm not going to go backwards and say, I'm here. It doesn't work that way. Satan has tricks and strategies. God has given us weapons. The weapons of our warfare are not fleshly or carnal, 2 Corinthians, but they are mighty to God through the pulling down of strongholds. Then he said, let me tell you something else. Put on the armor of God. You don't wear an armor to a picnic and you don't wear, you know, a swimsuit to a battle. You put on the armor of God so that you can pull down those strongholds. And he said, casting down imaginations, don't let your mind run away with you. This morning, 
this morning. I'm going to say about 8 o'clock this morning. I had this golden opportunity to completely, I got a phone call that I could have been totally devastated by and fall apart. I said, no devil, in the name of Jesus, I'm not going there. Well, by the time I made enough other phone calls, I was fine. The things were fine. Everything fell back into place. I could have fallen under the tricks and strategies of the devil, or I could have said, wait a minute, I've got strategic warfare, and get up and fight with the good fight of my faith. In other words, you're not going to underutilize what I'm God's given you. I'm not going to underutilize what God's given me. You're going to take full advantage. I have played out, this is when your methods of healing class is starting. So I put it on when you're supposed to arrive, when you're supposed to do the class. I even put when you can have lunch. Sorry, but I well, like to do that. Did you put what I can have lunch with? <laughs> Actually, no, that, that's true. We have, we have clothes for that. But the truth be told, when we put all of this together and we strategize. They run my life. I, it's, I have, what are the five P's? Prior preparation prevents poor performance. I have said this. Say that again. Prior preparation prevents poor for poor performance. You did that on purpose. And the truth <laughs> is, when I can prepare for the best I can prepare, then when Satan comes with his tricks and strategies to steal, kill, and to destroy, I can say, wait a minute, I have God's power and I refuse to underutilize her, it. Her personality and mine are as Pew! different as night Pew! and day, okay? I... I'm East, an evangelist. West. I shoot from the hip. Okay? She is not an evangelist. She does not shoot from the More hip. More of a teacher. She plans, she prepares, and she helps me. She helps prepare me uh, to, to, to do what, what I do. What he steals so my that notes. I can, well, <laughs> because they're, they're worth stealing. Your dad used to steal my notes. <laughs> he did. It's and you've stolen a few of mine as well. <laughs> this is true. It, well, you know, what goes around comes around. It's all worth it. But you see, you have that blend. You have, you have the planner and you have the guy, the evangelist that shoots from the hip, and you work, they work together. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his purpose and love the Lord. There is a power that God has given us. He said, I have given you not the spirit of fear, but I have given you power, love, and a sound mind. You receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. The other day, the Lord said, there's a lot of talk about mental illness, and I am so grateful to God that these are subject matters that are being addressed, whether medically, in the church, in communities, whatever, and, the, and I think it's fabulous. And the Lord said, I want you to start strategizing about mental wellness. I have been studying the Word of God about yes. your mind. She really has. I really have been about what and, does the Bible say about renewing your mind daily. You'll be talking about it quite a bit on the new healing I network. will be. And I have this thought in my mind that Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the Bible says we have the mind of Christ. But if you don't know what your weapons are, if you do not know the power that you have, then you are perhaps underutilizing what God has already given to you. And God said to me last night, what did I say? Something like 2.47 in the morning. God didn't say, I haven't given you the power. Go look for it. And then when you pray, believe you're going to run out and grab it. No, he said, I've already given my people power. They're underutilizing it. Okay, how do you know what you have and what to do with it if you don't go to the instruction manual? Go to the Bible. Even if you search the word power, it's in there. And if we discover that God has given us power, love, perfect love casts out all fear, a sound mind, we can have the mind of Christ. You know, Jesus didn't panic like Lindsay panics. Jesus didn't get into fear like I could, if I, if I allowed the devil to let me do that, to get into fear. God has given us power, love, and a sound mind, but I will underutilize it if I don't remind myself what weapons I have as a, a, a combative to the tricks and strategies of the devil. I'm not saying you have to do what I do, get a notebook, be as prepared as I am, but I am saying that it would do all of us good to get in the Word of God, find out what our weapons are. They're not carnal, they're not fleshly, but they are mighty, God said. Cast down those imaginations, cast down those high things. That, that try to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Okay, wait a minute, get the knowledge of God. Bring into captivity every thought and figure out what your strategic warfare is. God said he'd fight for us, woohoo, and we can hold our peace. Wow, 
I pray for the peace of God to come into you right now, into every aspect of your life. I pray for you spiritually, for the peace of God to come into your spirit, man. For the peace of God for you physically, nothing missing, nothing broken. For the peace of God to permeate your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions. For God's peace to come in and God's peace to be your portion. And as you hold on to peace, God said he would fight for us and we could hold on to peace. And I pray for God to get into the battle with us and for us and pull down those strongholds and, and allow God to do what God can do. You do your part, let God do his part and expect a miracle. That's my prayer for you now in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. That's a good word, Lindsay. Thank you very much. Amen. Uh, remember to go to the App Store and download the new Healing Network app. Or just go to richardroberts.org slash the Healing Network. This network is available on Roku, on Fire TV, on Fire the web, Stick, Fire on Stick, the web. Uh, mm -hmm. Apple TV, any mobile device, your laptop, your desktop, it's available. It's the new Healing Network. I'm not aware of a Healing Network anywhere else. Maybe there is one, but I just don't know. I pray it. there's lots of them cropping up all over the place so God's and, word gets out and, in force yeah. against the wiles and tricks and strategies of the devil. And if you've not already sent the photograph of your loved one, your family member uh, to me, uh, do, do so as quickly as you can. We're posting them here in the studio and praying over them every day. Send the picture to me, Richard Roberts, at P.O. Box 2187, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74102. Um, or if you're gonna do it digitally uh, by email, send it to prayer at richardroberts.org. All that's on the screen. This is a little book, How to Hold the Rope in prayer for your loved ones. I'll, I'll show you the Bible way to do it. It's free, just ask me for it. Let me know that you want it and I'll send it to you. And let me How just, do you get it? Tell everybody where they uh, can get call it. Call the prayer group, 918-495-7777 or go online, uh, richardroberts.org. Ask for it, it's free, I'll send it. And let me just take this moment, just a few seconds, just to say this to you. When you donate, when you give into this ministry, you're giving into a ministry that's touching people's lives all over the world. Not only here in America, but in Canada, in Central America, in Africa, in Asia, all over the world, the countries that we're reaching through our Greater Works Outreach. And we thank God for all of our friends and partners who donate each month to help us. But not only uh, your donation is important, but also it's important for you to know that God will not only use your gift through this ministry, but He, according to the Word of God, He'll multiply it back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Thank you for every gift you sow into this ministry. I pray and believe it. It not only is a blessing here, but it'd be a blessing back to you in Jesus' name. Good word. Thank you for the idea Anytime. of the Healing Network. Absolutely. We're out of time. See you next time right here from The Place for Miracles. We have just launched the Healing Network. It's all healing all the time. This new 24-hour network is your place for live healing prayer and anointed messages, as well as the classic and timeless sermons of Oral Roberts. And we have new original programs coming soon. Available online or on demand, just look for The Healing Network on your favorite app. For more information, go to richardroberts.org slash The Healing Network.